suppose my favourite is not so much memories, but um, my favourite just sections of the trip. Um, I really enjoy, particularly in WA, when you just get past Norseman, particularly if there's been some rains, and you just see the, uh, the red on the gums. Um, as soon as it rains, it kind of glistens almost blood red. Um, and that's pretty, that's pretty special, actually. Um, my other favourite part, again, in WA, <laughs> is just coming through the Euclid. And when you come down, there's a big hill that comes off the plains and down to, uh, towards the bite. Um, if you get that at the right part of the evening, um, just the way the sun plays off the whole vista, is, um, it's pretty special. Yeah. Um, yeah, the best part of the trip for me was just getting to see parts of Australia that I wouldn't usually be exposed to. You just get to spend the, well, however long it takes, four to four, four days to a week just hanging out with your mates. It was a good trip, good experience. Um, I spent a fair bit of time driving across the Malamore with my dad. He used to fly over driving me, so I got time with my dad in his late years, which was pretty cool. Spend quite a long time with your dad in the car. That's, it, you can actually spend some quality time. Um, my trip was uh, to Penrith, which and we took the route through uh, Mount, uh, Mount Panorama that first. So the best memory I think probably is being silly with taking a video and crossing the finish line at Mount Panorama uh, with a boat trailer on the back doing about 40 kilometres an hour. So that was a little bit of fun after three days of driving. But Know your track, so know which road you're going to turn. And, you know, don't be anxious about have, have your map planned out, um, and probably have an idea about the distances to, to service stations, and so you're not stressing. Yeah. I would say take a jerry can, have a jerry can or two in your trailer, so for petrol wise, you can, you're not going to run out, and then just make sure that you're um, you've had enough sleep like you've had enough sleep before you start to drive and probably make sure that your, um, your trailer's in good order. Make sure you have a bull bar and just double check you've got enough fuel and when you stop just make sure you've tied your fuel up. Our fuel actually got stolen at um, one of our stops overnight and we didn't realise till we were checking it the next day and ended up having to literally coast into a fuel station so cutting it pretty close. So the, for me, because I was quite, the very first time I drove over, I was actually quite a nervous driver. Um, just knowing your equipment well um, just gives you a lot of confidence because it's not hard per se, um, but if you've got that sense of... Um, Car and the trailer. Yeah, yeah, sense of awareness, then it just makes everything a lot easier. Um, tying the boats on properly. Um, tie them on properly, don't over-tighten them use duct tape over the straps and then check them again. <laughs> the boat's the most important part of the trip. That's why you're doing it. So making sure they're secured um, competently is definitely the most important thing to me. I suppose we had a, in my most recent trip, we had a dust storm around the Hay Plains. Um, so that was yeah, something I've never experienced before. I <laughs> uh, couldn't see much. We, uh, we did have to drive off the road to, uh, to make sure no cars came up and uh, uh, shunted us up the back. But um, yeah, it was a little bit exciting. <laughs> um, yeah, certainly an experience. I suppose on that, if that's the case, you just pull over. Yeah. So don't, don't run. Um, we didn't have a bull bar and hitting a kangaroo. was um, stuck in the side of the road. My reception was something that I wasn't quite prepared for, but we managed to work through it and ended up being one of the more memorable parts of the trip. Just drive during the day. Um, the trip from Melbourne to here, uh, you're with the sun, plenty of daylight, no need to drive at night, stay away from night driving. Um, the trip back, days are shorter, but still plenty of daylight hours to get back home. Three, three and a half days. I would say, like I said before, make sure you know where you're going, so you're not stressing about which roads to take. It's pretty easy once you get on the nullah boards, just yeah. go. But um, and then the other thing I'd say is, whoever you're driving with, um, make sure they understand how you're going to go about it. They can do two-hour drive stints. They can do four-hour drive stints. Service station, service station. 
Um, and I would say if you've got talking books, mm. get some talking yeah. books, because you do lose reception across the Nullarbor. You have a talking book, pretty easy to just, you and can just sit there and really enjoy the. Yeah, there's nothing better than a, going through a whole book on the trip over. Yeah. You can make the time go pretty quickly. Yeah, it's a talking book. Uh, to be honest, the trip itself, you'll see a lot of Australia. Um, you don't really need to go out of your way to see anything. Um, it will come to you. For me, a little deviation from the air highway, where the air highway just touches the bite. Um, uh, it's short, just short of Border Village on the South Australian side, about 10 kilometres. There's a, a adequately signed posted, you can see the ocean, just pull the trailer into that car park, you can pull straight out again the other side, you don't have to reverse or anything, you can just pull in and pull out and take a little walk through the bush and just teeter over the edge of that cliff and just feel the scale of the great Australian life, it's wonderful. For those going into state, Kalgoorlie is pretty cool and also the, the Great Bite if you want to take a bit of a detour. Civil Air for us is yes, we yeah. have to. <laughs> no but we, we also actually enjoy it when we're doing it. Um, yeah. You, you become quite nostalgic about the smells um, and about, say, sometimes you drive at night time and when you stop and jump out of the cab, how quiet everything is and how many stars you see. Exactly. When you're on the Nullarbor in the night time, yeah. the stars are close. You, you, smell. you miss it a bit. You miss the smell. Yeah. So, no, we definitely... Yeah, I'd definitely do it again. Just find a couple of mates and we're willing to hang out with me for a week. <laughs>